Today we'll be looking at every single LEGO Star Wars buildable figure ever made from the year 2015 all the way up to 2018. We have every single buildable figure ever made with four normal ones, over nine normal ones in 2016, then 17 being a little bit more with there being seven and one big one, and then only normal ones and one bigger one of Darth Vader in the last year. Let's take a look at them all in details. Let me know in the comments below which one you guys think is going to be best in this video. And just before we get started, make sure to like and subscribe to my channel, otherwise you'll end up on that wall there with all those figures and you'll be locked in forever. So make sure to like and subscribe. In total, we've got over 30 buildable figures, some of them being three in ones, as you can see here. Then we've got a bunch of thicker ones, some normal ones, and then also some bigger ones that actually have an additional things like a speeder, and then also just bigger ones like Darth Vader and Grievous. But overall, we've got 30 battle packs in a span of three years from 2015, 2016, 17 and 18, so that's four years, sorry, apologies for that. So we're gonna take a look at all of them and I'm gonna be telling you my favorites and also which ones were a flop, which we'll see what happens in this video. Starting us off with 2015, we've got two kind of blue and dark boxes here. We've got the 75 triple one Darth Vader buildable figure and this was the first Darth Vader we ever got released in this year which was 2015 so here's the front of the box and then ultimately we have the back of the box and it shows off all the other ones that were released in this year alone and also some of the different poses of the Darth Vader itself but the second one we've got is a smaller version now this is the one that's supposed to be going opposite of the Darth Vader which is the 75110 Luke Skywalker now I'm not really that big of a fan of this model I know it has the right hand when he cut it off already and the green lightsaber with a gun but I'm not really that much of a fan of these kind of like um, flesh or human-y minifigures of buildable figures. I do like the other ones like the ones that are coming next but it is a very good addition to my collection nevertheless and it also got released with a two-in-one of the same models. So they're the same exact sets, except this one was released Toys R Us exclusively, and it has a poster inside, but this is in Europe only. So if you do want to get this set, it's going to cost you about $300, and it's the set number 66536. If you do want to go and pick this one up, I do sure you do, because it's a very good set. The next one I've got is the 75109 Obi-Wan Kenobi, and yet again, this is not that good of a model, but I do really like the cape that they've introduced now. It's a very cool display model itself. Uh, it's, you know, it's a standard thing at the back. I'm not really going to show you the back. I'm just going to emphasize the actual model so you guys can see what you're missing or what you want to get when you do want to finish your collection. But the next one is undoubtedly probably the best buildable figure ever made. And this was probably just... Such a good minifigure and buildable figure. It's perfect for this lineup. It's the set number 75112 General Grievous, of course. And it has the four arms there. This is probably, arguably, the best buildable figure out of all of these. There are some other ones that I do want to show you. And some really bad ones. But this one's definitely blowing 2015 out of the water. Now, the last one is the 2-in-1 between Obi-Wan Kenobi and General Grievous. So, yet again, like the other one we've seen with Luke Skywalker and Darth Vader, it was kind of a super pack, which was only released in Europe. But, this one is not a Toys R Us exclusive, but the other one was. But, let's take a look at two other ones in this year right now. Now, the last two we've got is the Clone Commander Cody, which is white and orange. I really do love this minifigure. Now, this one is open. I do have it open in a bag here. So, this one's not sealed, unfortunately. But it is one of my favorites as well. And then we've got the Django Fett 75107. So, this was definitely a good year for buildable figures. A good introduction to the LEGO lineup and LEGO fans of having something different in the community and having something just something that you can collect and put on your shelf, like the helmets, like the UCS Collector Series sets, something different. Now, 2016 was probably one of the worst years for buildable figures. It had the most with being nine different minifigures. Um, 
it was a very busy year for buildable figures. There was a lot of bad ones and a lot of good ones as well. But, you know, there's more bad ones than good ones. So that's why this buildable figures kind of went downhill from this year. And a lot of people did not buy these figures because they were simply just not that good. But starting off with the first one of 2016, we've got this 75117 Kylo Ren. So that's a really good minifigure. Then we've got the 75114 First Order Stormtrooper, which is actually really nice and neat and also very simple, but a very good addition. So that suits Kylo Ren there. Then we've got the ugliest, the worst, arguably just the ugliest set in Lego Star Wars history. You can even see that this set was actually reduced for me to buy this because it was that bad. So these actually went on fucking sale so much that no one wanted to buy them. Sorry for my language. 75119 if you want to buy the shit box, but that's what that is. Then we've got the 75116 Finn, which is also yet another bad one that I think is pretty bad. So taking those to the side there, we've got the Ray in her scout outfit, which is not that good again. Then we've got then we've got Captain Phasma, which is a very good one. I do really like this one. Unfortunately, it's not chrome. It is silver, but we do appreciate it still. Then we've got Poe Dameron, which is just horrible. Let's just not look at that. And then we've got the Imperial Death Trooper, which is arguably also some of the best buildable figures. This one's really good and very good looking on the box art. And the actual minifigure itself does look really nice. So I'm looking forward to actually opening this one and putting it in my collection. And then the last but not least, we've got the K2SO droid, which is our first droid, I believe, in the Buildable Figures series. So that's pretty cool to see something different. Now for the second last year, we've got 2017. Now this had one less buildable figure, but it got replaced with this big one. So there is actually eight buildable figures in 2017. And these are considerably so much better than the last years there on the floor. So the first year was definitely good. The second year was a little bit garb. And then the third one is definitely much better. But as you can see, we've got eight different ones. Starting off with the 75532 Scout Troop and Speed bike now this set is considerably bigger than probably almost two and a half of a standard buildable figure it was a bit of a surprise to be seeing this set just with a speed as well it's a really cool display set for your buildable collection but definitely for your lego star wars collection i would display this one out of the most now moving on to the 75526 elite tie fighter pilot this is a very good one as well it does look really good on the box art and just itself it's really cool for your collection then we've got probably my third favorite ever made exactly 100 pieces 75531 stormtrooper commander now this is the best stormtrooper i don't like the first order ones i like the standard old ones and this is a definitely a cool one for this year then elite praetorian guard which is the better version of the guards of the death star obviously it's bright red 7529 elite praetorian guard this one's not that crazy but it was 299 in sweden um so that's pretty cool then moving on to ray this is probably the better version of the rays that we've gotten so far uh it's still not that good but it's still ray so it's another ray for our collection then we've got chiru invade which is the blind jedi that sacrificed himself in rogue one this is a very cool character that we don't see much in lego sets itself then we've got another two characters that was in rogue one one being scarif a scarif stormtrooper and another being ba Bay's Malbus. Now, these three are from Rogue One, this being from the newest movie, so is these, and it's a pretty cool lineup for buildable figures. But now, moving on to the last year, which is probably the smallest year, but they're pretty cool figures. Now, moving on to the last year of the buildable figures ever is the 2018 series. Now, we only had five different ones, one being a bigger one being Darth Vader, which is the second version of Darth Vader. We had one in 2015, now we have one in 2018. So it's a very different sort of Darth Vader we've gotten. But starting us off is the Range Trooper. Now, this is probably the most expensive one out of all the buildable figures. It's set number 7536, and a lot of people forgotten about this minifigure and buildable figure. But it's definitely one that you shouldn't forget. 
because it's going up a lot in price and obviously this is from Han Solo so it's very specific from a movie so it's not something you can get every day sort of thing now the next one is 75535 a Han Solo from the Han Solo movie as well so these go together right there and if you don't get them both you got to get them both I mean, there's not much to say there. Then we've got probably my fourth favorite buildable figure ever made. This is a lot to take in, but Boba Fett, wow. Very good figure. It looks really nice, really on point. I like the gun. I like the box art. I like the colors. And I just like everything about it. This is based off Boba Fett's book of Boba Fett. So that's why it was very reasonable for them to came out with this set once the book of boba fett came out now the the last normal one is darth maul which is the best probably humanized character that we got 75537 darth maul looks really nice it's very cool it looks sick and, it, and it's very very good for your collection now the last ever buildable figure of this video is the 7534 so for the bad box art darth vader now this is the last one that we're going to be looking at and the last probably ever Darth Vader buildable figure we'll ever see. But that's it for this video. That was over 30 buildable figures. Now, if you do want to get this entire collection, you're probably going to be spending around $5,000 to get them all, including the two-in-one super packs and all these exclusive ones being from 2015 to 2018. Thank you so much for watching my video. Make sure to comment down below which year was the best for you, which one you, you like the most. Because I really want to hear you guys' thoughts and make sure to stay tuned for more videos like this.